climate change has plunged the western United States into its worst drought in two decades. And a record-breaking heat wave only made things worse. In Arizona and Nevada, it's been so hot that doctors warned people they could get third-degree burns from the asphalt. Wildfires raged in Montana and Utah. Power grids in Texas strained as officials asked residents to limit appliance use to avoid blackouts. The levels in Lake Mead, which supplies water for millions of people, are at their lowest since the 1930s. In one California lake, the water was so shallow that officials spotted plane wreckage from a 1986 crash. And that's just in the US. Experts say global temperatures will keep rising as countries, and companies, fail to limit their planet warming emissions. Smaller countries often pay the price for wealthier nations' pollution through extreme weather. Most of these gases have come from the United States, China, the European Union, Russia, and other developed countries. Yet islands like the Bahamas are on the front lines of the climate crisis. The problems in the West and around the globe are more evidence that climate change is already affecting us. But there are also reasons for hope. Science has to come up with solutions quickly to avoid fossil fuel consumption. A very promising project is provided by the Neutrino Energy Group. In 2015, Japanese and Canadian scientists simultaneously discovered that neutrinos have mass, which means that they also have energy. This monumental discovery opened up a hitherto unexplored arena of energy production that is currently revolutionizing the global energy landscape. Recently, the Berlin-based Neutrino Energy Group discovered a new form of nanoengineering that delivers materials capable of transforming the motions of the universe's most ethereal particles into usable electrical engineering. In a patent filed in 2015, Holger Torsten Schubart, CEO of the Neutrino Energy Group, detailed a doped graphene technology that transforms the kinetic energy of passing neutrinos and other non-visible radiation into electricity. Schubart set out to develop a technology capable of converting the mass of these ethereal particles into usable energy. Neutrinovoltaic technology is already fully functional in laboratory settings. According to Holger Torsten Schubart, the day is rapidly approaching in which it will be possible to power low-consumption devices, like smartphones and tablets, with nothing more than the ethereal neutrinos that are constantly passing through everything we see. The Neutrino Energy Group combines the efforts of scientists around the globe. Within a few short decades, the scientists and engineers at the Neutrino Energy Group envision a world in which every home and business is equipped with a neutrino energy production device that handles all daily energy consumption needs. Our current reliance on inefficient energy grids will be eliminated, current renewable energy technologies will become obsolete, and the need to store electrical energy will become a thing of the past.